It's another beautiful day just before sunset. Um, you know that viewpoint because you are the only one who knows it. As you can see, except of my dear Lior, my daughter. No one knows about it. This is the Christian Information Center, or another word to say, uh, the Franciscans Museum next to Jaffa Gate, which is right there. And um, take the elevator, the lift to the roof and spend five shekels for each one of you and look at the view. Then if you didn't watch it, I'm, I'm making another video of it because I love that place uh, about rooftops. Uh, if you don't want to pay the five shekels, look down there, you can see the group of uh, people. Uh, that is the rooftop of the market. That's the border between the Christian and the Muslim quarter and it's for free but that five shekel is worth it and another option which is great option let me show it to you yeah this is the Austrian hospice right there for five shekels you can enjoy another angle of the city the best view is there the Redeemer um, uh, church belongs to the Lutherans and the entrance is from here which is which is so close to them uh, to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre but it's um, if I remember correctly cost 15 shekels and you have to climb it here in that viewpoint uh, I use the elevator at the Austrian hospice you can use the elevator as well another option is that place Petra Hotel um, for 10 shekels you can climb up to the roof to see the view 10 shekels this is you know what a different angle a very good idea as well the last option in that area is the um, Tower of David which is actually a fortress that King um, King Herod built. It was built before that, but he actually created uh, most of it. And if you will climb there, you can see one person is there. I think it's 10 shekels, but you have to climb all the stairs. And the view from there is almost like here. I think here it's better because um, that place is blocking part of the view. Then where are we now? Let's start with that. Consider two skyscrapers, there are skyscrapers, yeah, behind it, it's already Bethlehem and the Nativity Church is not so far away from here. That's the end of Jerusalem. Here, the pyramid top building and the tower to the right of it is the House of Mary, the Dormition, Dormition uh, Church. And that's Mount of Olives. In that area, you can visit uh, the room of the Last Supper, the tomb of King David, the tomb of Oscar Schindler, and the House of Mary, which now they are renovating it, and you cannot go into it, and a few more other places. Very close to us, actually from that area, I mean that roof, or that roof, it's the Ar um, Armenian quarter uh, worth visiting but that compound that you see in front of you it's Christ Church it's a British uh, belongs to the British uh, uh, Church Church of England and it's a beautiful place it's the center of the Messianic Jews you can see the beautiful uh, church there in, inside the church it will be difficult for you to find crosses but and most of the things will be in Hebrew um, the roof that you can see there, it's another viewpoint. This is the, he the Jewish quarter, and this is the Hova Synagogue. Um, it's a nice viewpoint, but that's 10 times better. But it's a Hova Synagogue, it's a beautiful place too. And we are talking about viewpoints all over. Of course, the, one of the best viewpoints will be at Mount of Olives. Then let's take you to Mount of Olives. And look at the Dome of the Rock. This is the last moments of the uh, beginning of the sunset. Then look at the shiny. It's really a good time to visit the city. 
Um, Leo, is it four o'clock now? It is. It's four o'clock. Half past four. Five. Five past four. Then you can see that. Dome of the Rock, and let me take a picture of you. Look at that, how oh, the, the dome is shining. And behind it, to the right, you can see um, Mary Magdalene Church with the onion uh, um, domes. Yeah, you can see it? The golden onion? Yeah, that's beneath it, it's Garden of Gethsemane. But the view of Mount of Olives. Hello! Hi. <laughs> Uh, I will be yeah, quite soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you want my daughter to take a picture of you, she's so yes. good with it. Ah, really? Just, uh, <laughs> uh, you speak uh, Hebrew? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then you can speak Hebrew with her. Um, then in that case, you can see the door of the rock. But if you are talking about the viewpoints, and we are talking about viewpoints today. Um, then there, it's a beautiful viewpoint of Mount of Olives, and another option is at Mount Mount of Mount um, Scopus. You see the building there. It's uh, the Hebrew University. Excellent viewpoint of Jerusalem from Mount of Olives. Then look how beautiful is Mount of Olives. That resurrection story, the resurrection of the Jews, Christians, and Muslims will be there. You can see at the right part of it, it looks like a cemetery, and it is. This is, the Muslim, this is the Jewish cemetery, and they believe that when the Jewish Messiah will come, it's not Jesus, they will resurrect. But you can see the Ascension Church, the biggest tower there, the tallest tower, that is where Jesus ascended into heaven and promised us to come back again, and that will be a resurrection time for the um, Christians and Allah will build a bridge between Mount of Olives and Jerusalem and all the Muslims will, that will resurrect will cross it safely. Then you can see another tower right there. That's Augusta Victoria, a German compound. And behind the Redeemer Church, you can see on top of Mount Scapus, which is part of Mount of Olives, like lots of white buildings. This is the Hebrew University. Um, right here, it's the Christian quarter. And because it's Christmas in about a few days, then what you can see from here is the two domes of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. According to the Christians, most of the Christians believe that that is the place that Jesus was crucified, buried, and, uh, and of course resurrected. At this time, that city was, that part was outside the city. But most of the city was here, and this is already outside the city. But some of the Christians believe that it's not the correct place, because it's now in the Times Square of Jerusalem. And you see the green area there? This is already outside the walls, and um, that it's where... Um, it's called the Garden Tomb, and again, according to the Church of England, this is the place that Jesus was crucified, died, buried, and resurrected. It's not so far away from each time, each one. That nothing in it was um, uh, a water system, a water pool, uh, built by King Hezekiah in 8th century BC, and King Herod used it to bring water to the Jewish temple. Where was the Jewish temple? You can see now the Dome of the Rock. Yes, you can see it. I can see it. I mean, it's beautiful now to see it. Look how beautiful it is. Then that is the foundation stone, the first rock ever. And according to what the Jews believe, uh, Abraham, almost sacred from me, Isaac, Sachi, it's Isaac in English, on top of that stone. But God told the Jews to build his temple on top of it. Then the Jewish temple was between two to three times higher and bigger. Then you can imagine that from here, King Herod saw everything. What do you mean King Herod saw everything? This is the fortress that King Herod built. Oh, you cannot see it. Now we can see it. And you can see again my beautiful daughter, Lior. Then from that place, which is the highest place of the city, he could see everything amazing then what we can actually see here is that catholic patriarch the greek orthodox patriarch or the 
uh, uh, red uh, roofs and um, and the Christian quarter around the Dome of the Rock it's the Muslim quarter and part of the Via Dolorosa is there the other side I'm not sure that I was talking about it or not. Mainly, yes, I think we talked about it. Mainly because there was an Israeli uh, family that uh, came to here and I uh, helped them to understand what's happening here. Then it's the Armenian quarter and the Jewish quarter is right there. Now, this is 10 minutes of, of a beautiful viewpoint. And please, if you liked it, then... Um, become part of my family subscribe to my channel and tell me that you loved it I don't know why viewpoint videos of mine are not so popular then send it to everyone that you know and if you want to support me you can do that by thanks me by telling me that you enjoyed it or you asking me questions or by buy me a coffee link PayPal link and lately just beneath the video at the place that you can actually push the button of like do that do that please you can see in heart shape of a heart and a, do a dollar sign in it push it and you can actually help me to create more videos and to support my daughter bye bye to everyone love you